Hello everybody, welcome back to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So today's video is another weekend wash and we're going to be testing out some products. So we have a new product from Lithium, their Ceramic Slam. So it's a ceramic spray wax and we're gonna test that out. We're gonna use it on the sides of the driver's side doors and uh, we're going to see how that responds, how that holds up for the next couple of weeks and months. And we're also gonna be using some products from Extreme Solutions. So their Longevity, which is a nice thick water-based dressing. We're also gonna be using their Aerosol Total Recon, which is a dressing in an aerosol form, and also their Restore product on the windshield cowl and a few other plastics around the vehicle. So guys, let's get started. We're gonna be cleaning up our Avalon and we're gonna be going through a simple wash process this is not going to have any type of chemical or mechanical decontamination at all. Um, it'll need it, but I'll probably do that in the spring and show you guys what we do to spruce up the vehicle, get it all deconned, and then start playing around with some more waxes, sealants, and ceramics. But for now, it's dirty just from driving it for the past couple of weeks. I know I haven't put out a weekend wash in a while, I've been very busy, but now I have some time this afternoon to wash the vehicle and test out some products. As you see, the top surfaces of the vehicle are really not that bad. They're well protected. We still have Turtle Wax Seal and Shine on the hood. We have Last Coat, two applications of Last Coat, as well as an application of Amp on the trunk. So we're gonna see how that has held up. And I forget what I had on the roof, so we might add some other protection onto the roof. So you're going to see the wash process. It's simple. I'm going to rinse it, give it an APC rinse, foam it up using Extreme Solutions shampoo. So their Hawaiian Shine Extreme Sud shampoo, which I've been using for the past couple of weeks, really enjoy using that stuff. Really nice and slick. It foams up really well. Good cleaning abilities as well. So we're gonna be using that soap in the foam cannon. So let's get to washing. Okay, so we're all set up here to wash the vehicle. I have my buckets ready. I put hot water in the buckets because it's a little chilly. I mean, it's about 47 out, but the sun is out, so it makes a huge difference. You can wash directly in the sun in colder temperatures. It's completely fine. Just work efficiently and quickly and you'll be fine. So we're going to be using the Extreme Hawaiian Shine Suds in the foam cannon. I think I put about eight to 10 ounces in here. That's usually what I dilute my soaps in the 32 ounce bottle or 10 to one in a gallon jug. And it dilutes it much, much more, of course, when you put it in the foam cannon. We're going to be using Super Clean to degrease and clean all the wheels, wheelbarrows, lower portions of the vehicle, give it a good degreasing APC rinse on the bottom portions. I'm using the Industry Ergo 2000. I know guys, I'm sorry. I had a review on this video and when my Mac crashed, it's gone. So I have to start from scratch again. These guys are amazing. Love these pumps. Super heavy duty, amazing quality. I've been using them now for a couple of months. Super appreciative to Marilex for sending these uh, pumps. So I have this one, which is the regular spray pump. I also have the foamer and I love that foamer. It is really, really nice. So this is just the regular sprayer and we're going to degrease all of the areas down below. But first let's give it a rinse and uh, then we'll chat a little bit. This is Turtle Wax Seal and Shine. This has been on here for quite a few months. That stuff is strong. Let's look at the trunk. So this is the last coat. Two applications, one application of AMP, and it's been almost two months now. Still going strong. So guys, if you're new here, welcome. If not, then 
you'll be used to the weekend wash series. I like these series because I can basically enjoy washing my own vehicle, test some products, give you guys some updates. So it's more of a relaxing type of detail video. So what's been going on? We've done some upgrades to our trailer. We're trying to pump out as many videos as possible. Lots of new content coming your way. Did have a little bit of a mishap. Our Mac crashed and I lost some videos. I still have all of the content. I just have to re-edit. So guys, I get a lot of questions about washing vehicles and especially when it comes to chemical decontamination, using the clay bars, using the clay mitts while we're washing. Some guys do it, some guys don't like the idea of it. However, when it comes to our business and our methodology, our way of doing things, I've discovered shortcuts that work just as well, that don't sacrifice a lot of time or money or chemicals. So sometimes you'll see in our videos that we wash a vehicle, we foam it down like this, we'll wash the panels and then use a clay bar or a clay mitt or a clay towel to mechanically decon the paint. Now is that safe to do? Yeah, it's fine. It's not a big deal, especially if you're just doing washes and waxes without polishing or going any further. If you're prepping for a new car prep or a paint correction or a coating, then yeah, you want to use detarring products and de-ironing products and all those things. But for daily drivers that we're doing full details on, if they're not paying for that, why waste the product? You don't need to do that. Keep it simple. We're mobile detailers, they're different from a shop environment, so we're going to do things a little bit differently, but we still get amazing results. I think some do-it-yourselfers and detail enthusiasts and shop guys look at the way that we do things and disagree, and they think that it might be a hacks way of detailing. It's not. Relax. It's just washing a car. There's many different ways of doing it properly without hacking the vehicle up. Plus, you have to think about it through the eyes of a business owner. If you're going to be using all those nice detarring and de-ironing products every time you do a detail, you will quickly realize that you will run out of money. Unless you're charging hundreds of dollars for a wash and protection or wash and sealant or wax. Otherwise, you need to realize where you can be more efficient and not just spending the time and the money on these products just because you want the finish to be as best as possible. Yeah, you want that but you also wanna be profitable while still providing good service using good products. There's a balance. So I'm gonna use the big GT Shine towel because I can and it's nice. Yeah, these towels just dry so well. Yeah, this one's a little big, but that's okay. It's nice. So maybe you remember a couple of weeks ago, or maybe almost a couple of months ago now, uh, we put the optimum tire coating and protectants on the driver's side tire. Well, something about that protectant didn't like my tire. It didn't really stick on there for too long at all. In fact, a couple of days and it was gone. So what I did is I reapplied it and I used Optimum Power Clean, did it exactly the way that the direction said. And again, not really that good. So I wasn't impressed with it. I have seen a couple of people say that use a spray gun to apply it. Again, it's just not working for me. It could be the tires. These are not the greatest of tires. I'll show you here. Not the greatest of tires. Oh, mister. Muddy paws. So here's the tire after it was cleaned. This is the one that we applied the optimum tire coating and protectant. Didn't do much, unfortunately. Not really impressed with that product. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it on some different tires. Maybe the ones on my Sequoia. We'll see. Mister. Hi. Okay, mister. Yep, you're desperate, aren't you? Poor boy. Like he's really desperate for attention. Yep, well, I guess he's getting comfy. What? All right, boy. I gotta get to work. You gonna let me work? Hmm? Thank you. Gosh. So I'm gonna be using the Ceramic Slam, which is the new lithium product, on the rear driver's side door. The directions uh, say to do it completely different than what I'm doing here. but. Relax, I'm just going to be testing it to see what it does in direct sunlight. It does say to use it in a small area, out of direct sunlight, spread it around on the microfiber towel, allow five minutes to cure, and then remove it. I'm just going to apply it in this way. This is just a test. 
I want to see what it does in direct sunlight. So I'm going to shake it really well. Make sure everything is distributed. Yes, buddy. Relax. Man, Mr. is loud today. So spray onto the towel. Oops. Switch the nozzle to the on. And let's just see what it does. It smells nice. Spread it in. It kind of flashes away quickly. Now I'm not really letting it set. I'm just wiping on, wiping off, just to see what it does, just to see if it makes a mess. And so far, whoa, okay, that's nice. So this is not the proper procedure to apply this. But again, just testing it, just to see what it does in direct sunlight. And uh, working in a small section, of course, this is two by two. It's not leaving any streaks or anything like that. And it adds instant, instant slickness and gloss. Instant slickness and gloss. I mean, listen. That's awesome. Yeah. So just for the slickness and the gloss alone, applying it in the sun like this, I'm impressed. I like it. Now, again, it says if it's going to last the six to eight months that it says proper procedure, wash, clay bar, decon, you know, if needed, it's, it's already smooth. It doesn't really need to be clayed. If you want to lightly polish it, fine. And then bring in your garage or in the shade, apply it the way that it says on here. But again, simple directions anyway. It's not that difficult. Now let's let it sit like that. I just applied it. So I just applied it like that and just let it sit in the sun. And let's see what happens. This is where I applied it before. Super slaw, slock. It's slick and glossy. So this is just applied, and I didn't really work it into the paint that much. So let's see if it wipes away. And it does. Easily, with no issues. Don't mind the swirls, it's, it's a mess. It's just my personal vehicle. But just for simple application, wow, that's really, really nice. And slick, really slick. Ooh, I'm liking this, guys. Okay, Lithium, um, for me, incorrectly applying it like this in the sun still performs so well. Now I know you put that on the package because some people may not do things correctly. So you gotta put it in the directions to do it the right way. But as a mobile detailer, sometimes I don't have the luxury of being in the sun, <laughs> being in the sun, <laughs> being in the shade. So I have to work in the sun. I've learned to work in the sun with different products that may not even be designed to work in the sun. But guys, this is awesome. It's super slick, no streaking, no mess. Even after just letting it sit on there for like a minute, still wipes off. Awesome job, guys. I'm liking this stuff so far. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply it to the rest of the door. Let's see how far I can go with this product. Just applying it like this, just super willy-nilly, easy, wipe on, wipe off, and uh, we'll see how it holds up in the next couple of weeks. Wow, yeah, it just, it wipes off with no problems. And it does just the slightest job of filling in. Slightest job of filling in. Which these products are gonna do. I mean, just slightly. I notice it's just a little bit less mari than the rest of the door, you know, panels here that are really, really bad. Yeah, it's still all swirled up, but it's not as bad. And guys, this towel that you sent me, really nice also. Love this. Wow, so this whole door here. <laughs> nice. So this, this, this. Nice job, guys. Is it gonna stay? Ooh, it might not. Okay guys, so let's use something different for the tire here. Longevity from Extreme Solutions. Nice, thick, viscous formula. I'm gonna use it straight, not watered down at all. I'm gonna shake the product up. I'm gonna apply it on my usual brush here. This is a, it was actually a Chemical Guys brush, but I think Nanoskin sells the same one on Amazon. I'll put links to all this stuff down below too, so you can try it for yourself. So I'm gonna apply it onto the brush and just lightly work it into the tire. I kind of spread it all around first, use the bristles to get into all the little cracks and crevices, and then I'll go in all different directions, circular motions, to get the tire nice and coated. That's nice. That leaves a beautiful, even finish. All right, let's bring you in. Look how nice and even that looks. I think that's really an awesome, awesome tire shine. I shouldn't call it shine, I should call it dressing, because I don't want it super, super glossy. 
you can let it soak in and then in a couple of minutes if you want come back and soak up any of the little drips that way you don't get any sling so that's the stuff okay guys let's try something different if you follow us on instagram you saw that i uh, just did a little video of getting this spray gun here it's just a cheap spray gun it's like 15 bucks on amazon that's all i wanted it for was for applying dressings so i already used it i didn't get footage but i used it on a huge truck which is going to be in one of our videos that i'll be editing soon had huge knobby tires and i wanted quick application and this made it so easy i know a lot of guys have used guns like this before but i never have at least for tire dressing i used to use guns like this professional expensive ones for base coat clear coat actually painting bumpers on vehicles so I put Meguiar's Hyperdressing Undiluted in here because it's already pretty watery. I might need a, a little bit of adjusting on here, but let's give it a try. Now you can lower the pressure on the gun by adjusting the knob here, but let's just see what it does. And you can adjust how much product is coming out. creates a little bit of overspray, but it's not horrible. You can adjust it with the trigger here too. You're just letting air out, and then you can press it a little bit more to let the product out. But you can dry it with just the air. So I think that's, that's enough on there. And you can see it applies it very nice and even. It's into all those little uh, lines and lettering on the tire. There's a little bit extra there, but that's okay. Let it soak in and then you can wipe it down a little bit, but it applies really nice and it's pretty quick. If you want to add a little bit more around the edges here, you can. You can also spray in the wheel wells. But working on super knobby tires, the gun works really, really well. There's a little bit of residual water on here, but I'm not worried about that. So we'll let those sit. And really it didn't use that much at all. I had filled it up to the top and I did all those huge truck tires with it and I just did all four of these. So that's how much product it used. Correction, three tires on the vehicle. The first one up there is longevity. So I forgot to plug in my microphone. I apologize. Let's dress the windshield cowl using the Extreme Solutions Restore product. So before I do that, I wipe it down with an IPA solution just to get any residual dressing or anything that might be on the cowl removed and ready to go. So I put a few drops on the foam applicator and then I apply it to the plastic. Now this is just the first coat. I'm applying it as even as possible onto the plastic. If it gets onto the paint or the glass, it's not a big deal. Just remove it with a towel and you'll be fine. So we'll let it sit for a couple of minutes and let it completely dry. And then I'm gonna put a second application. So after it's had a few minutes to dry and cure, we're going to apply a second application. But now that windshield cowl plastic looks nice and dark and ripped. So now we're using Total Recon. Now this is an interesting product. We're going to use it on the back plastic here of our bumper. And I always forget about this back here. So let's add this dressing. Now I was not expecting the foam, but it was kind of interesting. Thanks, mister. Get right in my shot. So what we're going to do is wipe off any excess off the paint with a towel, which is fine. And I'm going to let it sit here and dwell. Now it looks like that this is designed more for tires. <clears throat> now it looks like this is designed more for tires because you spray it on, let it dwell, and then it leaves a nice high shine. But it's dwelling here for a little bit. I'm going to wipe it down and apply just a little bit more to areas that are still a little bit dry. 
Even though this is a little bit of an unorthodox way of applying this type of dressing, it still works really well. So I was happy with the outcome. It looks really nice. So again, we'll see how long it lasts. Now here are the tires after applying the hyper dressing with the spray gun. They are a little bit glossy and again, I'll let it just soak in overnight, but overall they look really nice. Mr. doesn't like me using his tail as an applicator. The hyper dressing is sprayed very evenly over the tire, which is really nice. So I'm happy with that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the weekend wash. I know we used a bunch of different products, tested out a bunch of stuff, but that's what I use the weekend wash videos to do is to enjoy cleaning our vehicle and experimenting with different products and just enjoying the whole process. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. If you wanna get your hands on some of these products that we showed today, then check out the links down below. I'll have everything that I can possibly link down there, either to Amazon, Car Guy Supplies, or Extreme Solutions. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a safe week. We'll see you next time. Take care.